I'm coming to save you, Bethany. I give up. Let's call the police. Can I borrow your phone, Zach? You sure you want to do this? Just give it to me. Please. Police emergency line. How can I help you? done. I guess now we wait. This is a cool place. What do you actually do? Oh, I make video games. Really? That's awesome. Well, they're pretty shit, to be honest. They can't be that bad. I mean, people are buying them, right? Some people enjoy them. That's true, but I'm hardly Hideo Kojima. Well, I don't know who this Heidi Kojima is, but I'm sure one day you'll make a great successful game. You reckon? Well, of course. As long as you put your heart and soul into it. In my experience, the heart and soul means nothing without a million dollars spent on advertising. Maybe you're only saying that your heart's been somewhere else. Huh. I wonder where. What games did you make? I mean, I admit I don't know much about it. My dad had a console, and we used to play together back in the day. You've probably never heard of them. There's thousands of indie games out there these days. Oh, come on. I want to know. What was the first one about? It's called... The Dog Gentleman? Okay. It's about this chap who really loves his dog. But it gets kidnapped. By cats. All you do is run left and right and, and press the attack button to attack with your leash. Who do you fight? Oh, 
it's mostly awesome. But luckily, your leash attacks are powerful enough to cut them in half. Sounds cool, man. What other games did you make? Oh. You want to hear more? Okay. Two years ago, I made this odd little thing called Ice Cube Battles. I wanted to tap into that stupid everyday object simulator craze. You made a game about ice cubes? Mm-hmm. And they fight until they melt. I'm just trying to imagine it. <coughs> Sounds... kinda silly to me. It's only 99 cents. I mean... Sure, it might not be the best game ever, but... Actually... Yeah. It sucks balls, really. Not too proud of that one. How's your head, Zach? It's... Alright. I think. It was just a little bump, really. And my glorious hat took most of the impact, too. You saved us back there. Me? Nah, I just... Oh, shut up. You did. If it wasn't for you, we'd all be dead now. Let's just agree it was a team effort. Except, you really had no business in helping me. Well, maybe I did. What if they take Bethany from me? We won't let that happen. You're her sister. And you're an adult, aren't you? Only just. It's still pretty obvious that she'd be better off in your care. I mean, she's got no one else left in the world, has she? Actually... No. We have you. Thank you, Zack. It's... okay. For you... I'd... Yeah? I just think you deserve better. That's all. Why are you being so nice to me, Zack? Because, you know... Everyone else seems to be a twat lately. You could have said no when I came asking for help, but you didn't. Why? Well, if a lifetime of playing video games teaches you one thing, it's that the hero always rescues the princess. That's not the only reason, though, is it? Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know. Zack, no. You do. Do you really want me to say it? It's alright, Zack. I like you too. What's wrong? Can you not smell it? Jesus. Did they feed you that stinking curry for dinner too? Oh. Yep. Code brown situation. And I'm guessing you don't have any clean nappies in your flat anywhere. Sorry. I stopped using them a long time ago. Fuck. What do we do? Well... I can't get them from my flat. Because I really don't want to go back there. We'll have to improvise. We need to clean her up and change her nappy. Uh... Sounds tricky. Look, I've washed a bunch of old women today. How hard can it be with a baby? Well, I don't know. I'm a total noob with babies, remember? Do you have anything here I can use? Other than my beanie hat? Nope, 
I don't think so. Your beanie hat. This could totally work. What? No! It's a limited edition Breaking Bad beanie. You're gonna say no to a baby? Fine. Right. It'll work. I just need to make some adjustments. Do you mind watching her while I have a look around? No. Go ahead. TV ads for this stuff. Apparently it can absorb insane amounts of liquid. Someone's been playing with fridge magnets. Huh. I guess Zach really likes me. need to go right now. Now, let's make two holes for Bethany's tiny legs. Done. That's not it. Oh, You two look very cute. Uh-huh. And look! She stopped crying. Yep. You okay? Yeah. Well... I am. But... The smell... is strong with this one. Oh, sure. Yeah. I'll sort it out, Zack. Just give me a minute. These kitchen towels should keep Bethany dry. Perfect. Nope. I'll use these to clean Bethany up. I'll use these... Clean Bethany up. Got that nappy yet? I've got everything. Give her to me, Zach. One happy baby. It boggles my mind how such a cute little thing can produce so much stink. This must be the cops. Who is it? Police. Please open. Evening to you both. I'm Officer Manley. I'm looking for Laura Wood. That's me. And the chap? 
He a boyfriend of yours? Zack's my neighbor. Okie dokie. So, you want to tell me what happened? And don't look so frightened. I'm here to help you, not shoot you. My mom hanged herself in the bathroom. I'm real sorry, Miss Wood. And then John came. He made fun of her, being dead. And who's John? Her partner. He'd always been horrible and violent to her, but she never did anything to stop it. Oh, I see. Carry on. Well, he attacked me and Zack. Knocked us both unconscious. And when I woke up, I saw John running a bath full of water. He had my baby sister, and he was going to drown her. Jeez. Why would he do that? He's always hated her. He wouldn't have stayed with us if Mum hadn't gotten pregnant. To John, that little girl has always been just a nuisance. A burden he wanted to be rid of. Right. Carry on. We tried to stop him, of course. Then he fell over and knocked his head on the loo. I think he's dead. It looked nasty. I just grabbed the baby and ran here. Where's the baby now? She's in my room. She's fine. Right. Good. Here's what we'll do. You, young man, will stay here and watch the baby. Miss Wood, you will follow me. We're gonna join in with my partner inside your flat. You okay with that? I don't really want to go back there. But I guess there's nothing to be afraid of now. Follow me. There's no one here, Miss Wood. But that's impossible. She was here, hanged on the shower curtain. Well, there's blood on the toilet. That's where John hit his head. I told you. Stay behind me, miss. Kitchen. Let's move. Area clear. Let's move. Let's check the bedroom. Gibbs!
Why are these mannequins following me everywhere? Roseberry Lane. What a tiny little coffin. I've seen that silly hat before. This cross has a noose hanging from it. There's a black cross on it, with stripes of red fabric wrapped around it. Who are you? Nice job, Lorelei. You... know me? Who are you? The name's Jimmy. Jimmy the Traveler. 
And now that you've opened the way, there is one place I'd like to show you. We can talk as we go. It's quite a trek, but it's worth it. And before you ask, yes, you can trust me. That's what that old hag said, too. Oh, she says a lot of things, but believe me, I am no friend of hers. That still doesn't make you a friend of mine. Sure. But what if I told you I found a way to destroy her? To end this nightmare once and for all and send us both back to the real world? Then... I'd listen to you very carefully. Let's go then. It'll get dark soon. You want to tell me something about yourself? I mean, Jimmy the Traveler doesn't quite explain why you're here with me. In the afterlife. I... I travel in my sleep. Always have. What? Look, it used to be fun. I went to different places every night. At first I thought they were just dreams. Not real. But no. My body stayed in bed. But my mind, my spirit, or whatever, they were set free. In my sleep I was a ghost. Everything I saw happened somewhere. To someone. Then one night, I traveled here. And I can't wake up since. So, if you're the good guy, and she's evil, then why did she bring me back to life? Cause you know, that was kinda awesome. It's all part of the game she's playing. She knew you'd die again, and that you will have no choice but to do what she asks. And trust me, Everything she does comes with a price. Anyway, I don't want to try to convince you. You'll know when you see the real her. Yeah. Maybe. But when will I see the real you? The real me? Well, he's fast asleep in bed. Back in the real world. And if he doesn't wake up anytime soon, He'll most certainly die. So, where are we going? The tunnel. That's where the devil came from. Devil? You mean the Queen of Maggots? If you prefer. She has many names. But names are just names. They don't really matter. Wow, you sound just like her. Are you two related? What? No. Just asking. What's in the tunnel? That's where the real Queen of Maggots is. And has been since the dawn of time. The old woman is just a puppet. And her little house by the field? Not real. It felt very real to me. Sure. But trust me. It's just a dream within a dream. That real Queen of Maggots. What's she like? You'll see soon enough. I'm not really sure if I want to. No. Nobody wants to. But, now that you're here, this is your only chance to win her wicked little game. How? By killing her. Once and for all. I don't want to kill her. She's kinda nice. Made me a meal when I was hungry. 
But you have to realize that she only did that to gain your trust. She is not a human. And if you don't do this now, she will take away all humanity you've got left in you, too. But killing her? How can we even do this? I made a bomb. A bomb? Yeah. It's weak to fire. Oh, I don't know, Jimmy. Not a big fan of bombs. What if I say no? Then you will forever be her slave. Just like others before you. We are here. Take this with you. Here's the bomb and a lighter to light the fuse. Wait. Are you not going in with me? No. I wish I could. But I am not allowed to enter the tunnel. Why not? She'd sniff me out in an instant. I'm not dead like you. I'm only sleeping. I wish I was strong enough to push it down, but I'm not. Oh, fuck it. I'll find another way to blow up Queen of Maggots. Oh, great. He gave me a... broke it. That's not gonna work. Some kind of steam engine. It leads back to the tunnel. <laughs> 